So let me go ahead and quickly compose a email. I'll just click a new message here. I'm going to send this to NR6V and I'm going to CC myself, but I'm going to send it to my regular real world email address, which is W6AH at wavetalkers.com. Come down here to the subject and say, don't need to yell, turn off the caps lock. Set up at Pedra Blanca Trailhead. Hi, Dan. All set up here at the trailhead. Sending via Vara HF. Seven three. Chris W six H. So that's the only information I'm going to add into the message. I'm just going to come up here and post that to the outbox. We'll come down here to open session. Should bring that session window right back up. We know this station is a good one. It's ready to go. So we'll just go ahead and click the start button. Let me go ahead and close this and then we'll just launch it again real quick. And let me bring up the VARA window so we can see it. Start. And it looks like right away we're getting a connection to AJ7C. Now he's located in the Los Angeles area. So I'm currently out in the Los Padres National Forest. So I'm probably about 80 or 100 miles away from him at this point. And so we're using, if we look at the 705, we're actually only using eight watts of power right now using the AX1 to send this wind link traffic. So you really do not need a big station with lots of power in order to pass wind link traffic effectively. And here's our connection. You can see it here in the background. And that message is going out. And it looks like it did disconnect. Let's see if the message sent or if we need to resend it. Now this looks like there's still a message in the outbox. So we had a connection, but we did drop the connection. So let's try that again. So sometimes I've seen where you have a difficult time getting the connection to remain stable. And one thing that you can do in those situations is go ahead and close VARA, close the session window. I'm gonna turn off the 705 and then turn it back on. Sounds like there's traffic coming in there. Let me go into the function. We'll go back over to the tuner. 
I'll actually turn the power down a little bit. Let's see if we can do this with just five watts. Turn down to 50%. There we go. And it just sounds like there's some other traffic going on. So we'll just wait for that to finish passing. Okay, it looks like there's still a lot of traffic that's going on on this frequency. So I'm just gonna come back up here. I'm gonna open up another VARA HF session. And we'll look and see if we can find another frequency that does not have traffic on it. So just before I came out here, I updated the propagation tables. So I can go here to channel selection and bring that up. Uh, let's see if I can get a hold of Orv station. He's W6BI. I'll just go ahead and select there, double click, and it should change my frequency on the radio as well as all of the settings here. Listen for a second. It sounds like we're still hearing that traffic. So let me see if I can get a little bit further away. Let me see if I've got another uh, option here. So we'll go over to channel. Here's some stations on the 30 meter band. Let's see if we can reach one of those. So in order to do that, I'm going to reach over and just flip the switch on this antenna. So we're now in the 30 meter position. And we'll try this station here. Now this station is about 425 kilometers away from my uh, home QTH. So let's see if we can get them from here. We'll just double click and that should change us over to the 30 meter band. Let me go over and make sure that the tuner is turned back on. We're tuned up and the AH705 was able to tune that frequency. Now let's see if we can pass this traffic. make sure my oh, and it sounds like we are getting a connection yeah station bearing 57 degrees 425 kilometers and there we are getting a connection to the station and we're still set on just five watts on the 705 for power so we are doing this qrp out here where there is no cell signal, there's no VHF connection, there's not even any repeaters that we can hit from here, and we're sending this traffic via HF. So if we can turn on the preamp a little bit and see if that will help with the signal. And it looks like the message ended up not going out. It looks like our connection was just a little bit too slow uh, for this particular station. Let me come over and open up here and we can see, yeah, that message is still in my inbox. So it didn't go. So the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and deploy the LEFS 10 to 40 antenna. 